All right, everybody. I am starting today's journey in San Ignacio. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Y G N A C I A. Uh, I've already taken a little drive through here. It's absolutely fascinating. Kind of beautiful. It's very Mexico here. And they are serious about the Halloween there. Uh, I saw a couple of houses here that I find particularly interesting. This one. It's got a big courtyard in the back. Don't know where the front door is. It must be through that back gate there. Man, I love that. Look at the wood fence, you know, the fence just basically sticks and around the yard. That is so cool. And uh, there's just, there's more up here. Look at this house here. Looks like, oh, like flowers or something. And you got the driveway there. You can hear some chickens. Can you hear those? I love that. Look down there. I'm gonna drive down that street here in a second. Uh, yeah, and then talk about Halloween decorations. There we go. These people are in the spirit. Look at all that. I'm sorry, that is mega cool. From someone who loves Halloween. I'm just going to make my way down here. Uh, it's like a city center of some sort. I'm guessing that's a church. It is. And it looks like a, a small city park here. And then we'll just make our way down here. Awesome as this. Look at that. Old rock house. That's probably a couple hundred years old. I would bet money. Old rock houses like that will last forever. Yeah. See, let me show you where I'm at. This is San Ignacio here. Uh, that's the Rio Grande right in front of us. It was very close. Oh, look at this place and look at all the cactus it's crazy it's crazy amazing is what it is I'm totally digging it huh all right I gotta turn up this little road because it's not letting me go down to the Rio Grande so we'll head up this way uh, see all this and look see another rock building here or house some sort of structure with the cactus I mean that is something that is so beautiful and you got some stucco here across the street head up this way more stucco this house is 145 years old 1873 it says yeah I believe it let's go up here a ways check out some more stuff very old Trinidad tribe 1870 and that is awesome so you got another little rock this is like a little rock shed here looks like a set and empty Anyway, I'm going to head up this way. Let's go down that cool looking street. Where well, there's two of them. So I'm going to head, head over in that direction. Yeah, so I'm just basically coming back into this square here. Yeah, there's that church over there. So I'm going to head over here. See what we can see. All this cactus and palm trees. Ah, it's beautiful. 
this is a town with a lot of character. Let's go out here a little ways and I'm going to turn around and come back. Now that, that truck's uh, in some need of work. Look at that old shack. Wow. Got some places empty here. Anyway, I'm gonna go up here and turn around. What did they say about the chickens that crossed the road? <laughs> I was pulling up here and all these chickens started uh, crossing the road in front of me. Looks like they're living underneath that old trailer. Look at that. Now, that's not something you see in the city. You gotta admit. Yeah, I'm gonna try to turn around up here at this uh, senior citizen nutrition center. More chickens. See them? Wow, another one over there. Chickens just run around loose here. I'm gonna head back up. Try not to hit any chickens. Oh, there's another one. Look at him. Yeah, he's like, nah, I'll let you go by first. Or is he? Nope, he's going to make a run for it. No, he's not. He's trying to decide. Yeah, all right, he decided against it. Gave me the right of way. All right, I'm going to head up this way. I'll come back up on that truck that has every tire out of air, completely flat. Look at that old house. Wow. That's something. I wonder why it just sits here empty like this. Uh, yeah, I've seen some stuff up here. This is that town square again. I'm going to head over here. Take a look. I wonder what that used to be. Uh, it's not in good condition, but that... That is an old building. That is a very old building. It's got some of that... Uh, architecture that is native to this area. I'd like to see that restored personally. Visitor Center and Museum. But I don't think it's open. I'm guessing. Wow, look at all this. What is it? I don't even know. I'm gonna go up here and drive down that other really cool looking street. I'm going to uh make a right up here Hidalgo Street it looks like it looked like you know a person who loves plants this is paradise look at all this uh, desert type fauna if you will here, let me take a quick look here a little house there a little shed there it says Dr. Pepper above the what well, used to be a roof, I guess. How about that? Look at this uh, cactus. Huh. Available. So uh, if you would like to buy that, uh, that is available for you. Look at this old house. That I mean, that's you can tell that is a hundred years old at least. Huh. All these places are very old. This kind of should be, this whole area should be a museum, honestly, because of the architecture. I mean, look at this. That should be, that should be preserved. Where are you, state of Texas? Amazing. Uh, hmm. Amazing architecture here. Seriously. I'm going to... Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to head uh, towards Laredo now on 83. Just looking at some of these old places. So cool. Alright, yeah, I'm going to head that way now. 
I'm still making my way to 83. I keep seeing these amazing looking but empty homes. Lots of, cl I, I don't know what you'd call it, uh, the architecture, but definitely mid 1800s, am I right? This little church here. And this very old house here. Very old, wow. Uh, it's bigger than it looks. But look at that big two-story section behind it. And we got another one here. I mean, you just want to glance at them and say they're crappy-looking old houses that need to be torn down, but they don't. That was probably standing here in 1850 when people were still riding horses. But looked newer then. That old house there. That is... God, I hate to see that in that condition. Hmm. Another real old one there. This that one's not near as old. But uh wow. Alright. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go this way a little bit farther. I'm looking at the other side here. It says Gulf. Was this a gas station? Not sure what was going on there. And look at this old stucco place. It's got a dog garden in it. Huh. Another really old house. Many of these homes are, I'm gonna guess, 100 years old. At least. Older. Is that a pig just walking around the streets? Look at that. Holy cow. That's a big old pig just sitting in the streets. Or walking in the streets. Wow. All right, well. <laughs> All right, this is 83. I'm cutting a left here. I'm going to make my way to Laredo. All right, I'm cruising down 83. Uh, going to go to a town called Rio Bravo first. It's down the road here a ways. Anyway, you can see where I am. That's San Ignacio that we just left. And I'm heading away from it. So uh, that's for you people on uh, who like to follow me on Google Maps when they watch my videos. I'm still on 83, but there's a turnoff up here. I want to check this out. Um, where am I at? Yeah. It's really close to the river here. So might be interesting looks like a uh, point of interest stop so let's see what's going on up here I've just exited the Bronco and wow yeah so you're looking at the uh, Rio Grande here and here and of course Mexico uh, there's some sort of settlement over there in the distance anyway it's gonna explore here for a bit see what's going on. El Camino Real de los Tejas National Historic Trail 2500 miles long. Spain used this networks, uh, network of roads to colonize Texas and Louisiana. American Indian created it long before the Europeans. Uh, so there you go. Head over here. Look there's something down there. Uh, better go check that out. Yeah, we have a trail down here. Uh, that looks like a cross over there. So I'm gonna go see what that's all about. It's really quiet and beautiful here. Huh. And I'll just show you where I'm going. I don't want to cut too much out. I want you to see what I'm seeing. It's pretty awesome. But anyway, there is, yeah, there is a, 
Oh, it's a big spider web too, but let me see if I can go around. I don't want to mess with that spider web. Uh, let me swing around here. Uh, yeah, this is a grave of some sort. Look at this, they have these solar lights right here. I bet that, uh, or I bet this looks really beautiful at night. These flowers, oh, they're probably fake. Pretty though. Uh, in, what's it say? In Recuerdo y su memoria. So I'm guessing in memoriam for someone. Someone passed away here. Huh. Oh, must have been very young. 1106, 2001 to 1207, 2021. So this has not been here for long. Wonder what happened. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, I'm going to head down this way and see if I can get closer. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm almost here. Woo, spider webs are everywhere. <laughs> Look at that. Look, you're going to have to let me get past, dude. All right, so, uh, well, it looks like, yeah, there's another place to get a closer look. It's not real easy getting down here for an old man, but here I go. I'm there. Okay. Yeah, you saw on the map I saw earlier, the GPS map, it comes into a point. There it is. Uh, it is beautiful, isn't it? See the fence? It's got a, just a regular fence with barbed wire on top. Uh, it ends right over here. I'll zoom in a little. Yeah, you can see the fence just ends there. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, this is not a very secure area of our border, but it sure is beautiful. I mean, uh, you got a fence, sure, that anybody can cut through easily, but hell, you could just go right around it there. Seriously, you could just walk right around the right around the uh, fence there, and be up here in a second. And the road is just right there, 83. Quiet though, except for the occasional car. Wow, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This whole area. All right, well, I'm going to get back out on the road and head towards Rio Bravo. All right, everybody, I am approaching Rio Bravo now. You just go up to this intersection and cut a left. You can see it's a kind of a long, skinny town, and it goes right up to the Rio Grande. You can see there to the left. Uh, very much a border town. So the sights will be pretty interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna head up there now. I see the sign for Laredo. Laredo is just another eight, 10 miles past here. But Rio Bravo first. <laughs> 